hi guys i have been in such a weird mood all day and i don't understand why so i just put a little bit of makeup on to help with that this is my favorite you can carry it in one hand one hand with a hair to match you can carry this on one hand these are my favorite products that i've been using every single day no matter what just to make me feel and look a little bit more alive without putting like a full face of makeup on the one thing i didn't bring up here was my eyelash color but whatever so the first thing i will link everything i'm talking about to down below but we're gonna get ready for the day and then we're going to try and organize my closet i'm not very good at it because i feel like i hoard things and i hold on to things and i'm like why do i have this tank top from six years ago that i've never worn can't get rid of it so the first thing is I like to try and perfect I used to not do this but I got in the habit of it and I kind of learned how to do it I am like the worst at this because my camera never focuses okay NYX micro brow pencil there's a spoolie on one side and a retractable eyebrow pencil on the other side I like evening on my eyebrows now I used to not do it because I have really good eyebrows I barely have them drawn in right now um, but I just feel like making them even makes your life look a little bit more put together. It just looks better when they're like even. I know they're not sisters, they're cousins or whatever people say, but I like this. It's like a fraction of the price of the Anastasia Beverly Hills micro brow pencil and soft brown. I used to use that, but this is way cheaper. The product is this Mario Soft Sculpt Skin Enhancer. I'm going to talk about this probably till the day I die, honestly. This is one of my favorite products. I want to get it in a darker shade too. It's the nicest, creamy, but light, not super like heavy and hard to work with. Bronzer slash, I wouldn't even call it contour. This is like a bronzer, it warms up your face, but it's creamy, but it's not full contour. I love it. I love the brush that is meant for it. It's the Mario F1 brush. I bought this brush recently. And what I love this brush is it's dual ended. So one side is angled, perfect for like the cheekbone. But what I like is the other side is this and it's perfect for the crease and it's perfect for your nose so you could bring that in right there make your nose look a little bit more buttony we all want like a little bit more of a button nose like who doesn't want a button nose i want a button nose so love this next product that is the best i feel like universal blush color i feel like blush is hard some people look better in peach some people look better in pink some people look better in mauvey tones this i feel like is a very universal color it's the nude sticks this is the Nudies Matte All Over Face Blush Color. There's a brush on one side, which is really nice when you're on the go and you don't have room for makeup brushes and all of that stuff. And then on the other side is the actual cream blush. It's a really pretty, kind of, I would say more on the mauve side than it is pink. Purpley pinkish blush. I love it. It's easy to work with. You can apply it directly on your cheeks like this and blend it out with the brush on the other side. But I really like to use this Real Techniques stippling brush um it just adds like put a little bit on your nose chin forehead whatever is left over it just adds some flush of color so you look alive <laughs> we don't look dead i don't want to look dead and gray it's not a cute not a good look so i just looked like i had like a bob on one side you guys i'm getting my hair cut in two weeks and i haven't gotten it cut last time i got it cut was valentine's day very random i just remember that it was on valentine's day um and it's time for a trim my hair is looking whoo looking a little nasty at the bottom it's looking a little dry so i'm very excited to get it cut but i'm gonna tell her like as little as possible because i like my hair to be long i've never had my hair short i don't think i'll ever have my hair short because it just doesn't suit me and i my hair is too big poofy and for short hair it just doesn't work even anyone who's ever cut my hair they're like you could never have core hair, core you could never have short hair it would be like out to here it just wouldn't look right but in the summertime, I especially like to have my hair long. I just feel like it looks beachy and I love summer and that's when I want to feel and look my best out of all the seasons. I want to look and feel my best all year round. But if I had to pick one season where I really wanted to just be bomb the whole entire season, summer for sure. I love summer. Speaking of, so this is another key product in days where you just want to feel a little bit more put together. The Brazilian Crush 71 the notes on this caramelized vanilla and macadamia it is a body slash hair mist not only is this good on the body it's very sweet so you have to like really warm sweet things to be into this this i love this as a stinky hair mist when you're on day two or three of your hair i know some people go longer i can go two to three days without my hair getting washed otherwise i start to panic freak out skin starts crawling i'll literally itch my scalp raw Till it bleeds if i like sweat that day it's on day two i like i need to get in the shower and wash my hair the next morning or i'm gonna freak out so i like spraying this as like a little 
hair perfume when your hair gets a little scalpy, a little stink rooney up here. Do a quick spritz and it'll smell sweet all day long. So then it's like scalp and sweet mixed together, but I think it's just better than like scalpy hair. So love this. Last lip gloss, any lip gloss you want. I put this on today, which I kind of forgot about. I feel like I go in waves with lip glosses. I'll be obsessed and I'll use it every day and then I won't touch it for like a month. <laughs> so I picked this up again. This is the Morphe lip gloss in Boho. And honestly, I don't know why I stopped wearing it. I think it's because the formula is not amazing to where it lasts really long. I have other lip gloss that last longer, but the color's cute. I don't really have anything this color. And then I paired it with, which is becoming my new favorite lip liner, besides Iconic Nude by Charlotte Tilbury. These are like at a tie right now. This is the Pillow Talk 2. I have it on. Literally is the color of my lips naturally. So I feel like it's a nice way to accentuate them on a no makeup makeup day and not looking like you have like a straight lip liner line. And then last but not least, add a cute accessory. I am obsessed with this hair clip. I came home the other day and my mom had it on. She's like, I really like your hair clip. And I'm like, <laughs> did you go into my room and finkel around in my hair accessories and put this on? She's like, yeah. I'm like, oh, okay. We do it to each other though, so it's fine. But it was just making me laugh because I literally got home and it was like in her hair. And I'm like, oh, that's cute. And she's like, this is so cute. And it fits so good. I'm like, yeah. I know I have good taste so little hair clip situation I'm gonna try and make the hair clip cute hold on let's see how I could do this Is this cute? I can't tell. Maybe, I'll see, <laughs> I guess. But yeah, just clip your hair up and a little girly hair clip. Make your hair smell good, curl your lashes. That's one thing I did do too off camera is curl my lashes and I didn't bring it, but I stamped a little bit of eyeshadow in my upper lash line and bottom lash line just to make the appearance of your lashes being fuller. We want like a full flirty, flirty lash. That's what makes me look feminine is like an eyelash. Like that's, I need to play up the eyes. That's what makes me feel feminine and pretty and cute. So now we're gonna attempt to clean out my closet a little bit. <laughs> I'm probably gonna end up getting rid of two things. No, I'm probably gonna get rid of like five to 10 things. And what's gonna happen is I'm gonna pitter patter over to the bag. Oh, there's a truck coming. There, I'm gonna pitter patter over to the bag where I put the stuff that I'm gonna donate. And I'm gonna end up grabbing like three things out and be like, oh, maybe. Uh, I always do that. So let's get going. Okay, now since I'm going through my closet, let's talk jeans because I don't wear jeans a lot. I have never worn these two pairs. These are new, so it doesn't count. These I have worn, pr these are I think the only jeans I've worn in the last year. I'm not kidding. These two I kind of forgot about because I never wear jeans and they're more daytime casually jeans. So I'm gonna show you guys all these jeans on, explain to you the fit and tell you why I like them. Or maybe I won't like, I haven't tried those on in so long, but let's try these on. Okay, so this is the first pair of jeans that I realized I have never worn. And I remember why. It's because I don't know how I feel about the bottom and I just don't know if they look right. I know this style is in where they are wider at the bottom, but I feel like I'm just so used to wearing skinny jeans. So I just have this on, Just I'm just doing like a blank top because... I feel like sometimes that's like what looks best with jeans, a tank top or a tee. I actually need a new white or black tee. So these are the Levi, Levi 501 skinnies, which are super flattering. They're like a true jean. They have the little rip in the knee, which I like. I do like rips. Um, I feel like Levi's really just are a classic jean and just fit the butt so well. Do I need to shave my armpits? No. Um, but... Yeah, I just threw them on with a pair of Javianas. These are jeans that I struggle with because I truly just don't know if I like the fit. They're too casual for heels. Maybe they're not. I don't know. I feel like I'm just so used to skinny. Let's just see what jeans look the best. Okay, and here's another pair that I have yet to wear, but do you guys see how the bottoms of these are not totally skinny straight, but they're not as wide as the other ones were? I feel like these might fit a little bit better. And they're similar in color, more daytime casual. These are the Abercrombie Curve Love Denim. And I believe I got these in the short length because I have really short legs and even ankle jeans will be like really long on me. So these are what these look like. These are cute. I feel like if I had to pick a daytime affordable jean, I would definitely wear these. The curve love is nice. It cinches you in at the waist, but then has a little bit more give through the hips. So if you are curvy and have hips, curve love, I feel like is like 
the way to go at Abercrombie. So these are more daytime cute fitting for me. I like a casual ripped jean. I just feel like it's cute. I'm not a jeans and t-shirt kind of gal, but I feel like I like to have jeans like this for one day. When I was the star of the show, these are the only jeans I've worn in the last year and a half. I have not put on another pair of jeans. I don't wear jeans a lot, but when I do, I've only put these on. These are Zara. I bought them in I bought them twice like I literally bought this pair and then like a few months later I was like you know what these are the only jeans I like on myself and buy another pair and I wish I could link them for you guys but this was just one of those random Zara finds I feel like these jeans were meant for me like I don't shop in Zara a lot but I found these one time and they were literally 50 bucks they have the perfect amount of stretch but look like that true jean I love where the holes are hole placement I feel like is really important with jeans and I feel like they cinch me in at the waist but then are not too tight around the hip area and they do stretch out a little bit which I do like I just washed them so right now I'm like kind of but I just have never loved a straight pair of straight leg pair of jeans on me so much the ankle length is perfect I have to get ankle length jeans otherwise they just don't work um, they fit my butt good I love this color the pocket placement is good I feel like I like when pockets are pushed out a little bit more than when they're super narrow I guess it really just depends jeans are so difficult and I feel like they're so personal and I just lucked out with these jeans so just check out Zara few and far between I believe I'm a four in Zara jeans sometimes I can't get them past my hips like these were just one of those finds <laughs> okay and these jeans are my latest purchase I showed you guys these in my May favorites video these are the mother brand jeans which if you guys are looking for a high end definitely on the pricier side their jeans are around 250 but they have the best stretch I've tried out of any high-end jean. The best pocket placement and they last a really long time. So I believe these are the mid-rise or the high-rise Dazzler ankle. Once again, gotta get ankle. I haven't decided if I want to hem these a little bit or leave them long. These are a jean that I like because there's no rips. A lot of my jeans have rips. But they just form to your body so well, like butter. I'm not kidding. And they have such good stretch, but they still look like that true jean. And they just fit so stinking good. Like, they fit the butt so good. They're stretchy. They're really flattering. They're comfortable. I hate when you feel like you're suffocating in jeans or, like, after you eat dinner, like, you literally have to unbutton your jeans. That's how I feel in a lot of my other jeans because they're all true jean. These have a stretch in them. Um, these are, I think, like, my third pair of mother jeans that I bought. And... They honestly never fail so if you're willing to spend a little bit more money which jeans are investment clothes and everything that you wear is honestly an investment there's certain things I feel like you can skimp on sometimes there's certain things where I feel like you can tell when they are more expensive and mother jeans worth the money so now I'm officially out of breath but we're gonna make this a part two video because I want to go to the container store tomorrow and get some organizing clear shoe bins for my shoes so we will do that this weekend maybe on Tuesday. We'll see. We'll do that together in the next video, but thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys soon.